Hey, baby Carter. Hi, Carter. Good morning, Miss Price. Hi. My name is Amber Anderson. I am a speech language pathologist here at USF. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How are you guys doing this morning? Doing well. How are you? Doing well. Thank you. I want to thank you for bringing Carter in today of for his baseline assessment. Say hi, Carter. Hi, Carter. <laughs> hi. Um, basically, what we're going to do today is to determine which speech and language activities will be the best fit for Carter okay. after his reconstructive surgery on February 24th. Okay. Um, the assessment, that part should take about 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but before we get to the assessment, I would like to ask you a few questions to get to know you and Carter a little bit better, if that's okay with you. Of course. Okay. The question should take a, probably less than 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Well, I read from the referral that you adopted Carter at birth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Such a blessing. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, did you receive any prenatal history? Unfortunately, no. I have nothing before birth. I don't have anything about the pregnancy. I have no information on prenatal care. I have no family history. There is nothing. Okay. That's okay. We can work with that. It's okay. not a problem. <laughs> Um, I do have some previous information of his birth statistics that I would just like to confirm with you, if that's sure. okay. All right. Um, we have that Carter was born four weeks prematurely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he weighed six pounds. Right. All right. And measured 19 inches long. Correct. Okay. Um, I do understand that he had a little trouble with some scarring on his lungs mm -hmm. when he was born. Yeah. Okay. And it's also noted that he was initially fed with a feeding tube at birth. Correct. After birth. Okay. Mm -hmm. How is Carter's current health? He's doing pretty well. He's putting on some weight. He's a hungry little man. Good job, Carter. <laughs> Good job, little man. Can you tell me what type of diet Carter is on? He is only on formula right now. It's a special formula. Um, we, I feed him with a bottle. We haven't introduced baby food yet. Okay. Okay. Are there any difficulties that you're having with feeding Carter at all? Initially, we needed a feeding coach, but he's doing a lot better. We received the special type of nipple, and it's doing it's doing wonders for him. And it just helps pass the cleft palate, and he's nursing from a bottle just fine now. So. Okay, so it's just an elongated nipple. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Now, is Carter attempting to communicate with you and others around him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the cutest thing. He'll squeal when he wants attention, <laughs> and he moves his arms around. He'll kick his feet and flail his arms, and he demands attention sometimes. <laughs> That's what babies do, that's for sure. <laughs> How does Carter acknowledge when you speak to him? Well, um, he's really good at maintaining eye contact. He, he's really strong with eye contact. And he smiles a lot, and he'll coo when I speak to him. It's almost like we're having a conversation. You, you are. You are. That's awesome. How does Carter indicate when he's happy versus when he's upset? Well, he's almost always smiling, so it's a little hard to tell. Or I like to think he's always happy. But sometimes he'll get a little grumpy, and he'll shake his fists a lot and he'll cry sometimes but it's mostly smiles okay mm -hmm. good that's good always yeah now how do you soothe carter if he does become upset or if he's not feeling well he loves his swing he loves it it soothes him pretty much every time so i'll put him in that or sometimes i'll hold him and i'll shake him in my arms like this and if that doesn't work um usually the swing and his favorite cartoon will work Okay. Mm -hmm. Jackpot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you tell me about Carter's visit with the audiologist? Mm, yeah. Well, um, I took him in, and the audiologist did all these tests, and it took forever, it seemed like. And he was a little grumpy that day, but um, I was told that he need, needed a hearing aid, so I went out and did the consultation for that and everything. And then I was speaking with a colleague of mine who is a professor at USF and who does a lot of child development. And I was told that I don't need hearing aids. Carter here is just fine. And that his ears must have just been filled with fluid. And it's essentially a non-issue. So wow. I wasn't too happy about that. 
No, so you did take him for a second opinion at, at the US? Mm -hmm. F? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about your first experience. That's okay. It happens. It does. Now, you said that Carter looks at you when you call his name. Mm -hmm. Does Carter concentrate on you when you speak to him for longer periods of time? Well, yeah, yeah, usually he does. But if I'm just kind of talking, talking out loud, I'll talk through what I'm doing during the day. If I'm doing the dishes, I'll, maybe I'll talk to him about it or I'll sing a little song or about it. He loves that. But um, when I'm kind of just rambling, mostly to myself, he doesn't <laughs> listen so much. But if I'm looking at him and maintaining eye contact with him, my focus is on him, then he'll give me his focus. Okay, also, awesome. when I'm reading to him, he'll... You're he'll reading maintain. to him, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, every right. night. Every that's night. awesome. That's, that's important. That's mm -hmm. good. Now, when, when Carter wants a toy, is he able to reach out and grab a hold of it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're laughing. Oh, yeah. He's a yes. strong little guy. <laughs> I'll get him toys for his car seat, that hangover. Yes. And he either loves them or hates them because they don't last long. He pulls them down. He yanks them <laughs> off. And <laughs> but hopefully he loves them. <laughs> That's funny. But, yeah, he gets what he wants. <laughs> Certainly does. Good job, Carter. <laughs> Now, has Carter had any type of formal eye exam since the one at the hospital? No, not since the hospital, not since his initial, uh, after he was just born. But he maintains eye contact, and he doesn't seem to have any issues with vision. Okay, thank you. It just wasn't clear in his files. I just wanted to double check with oh, that. No. Um, is there a timeline for Carter's reconstructive surgeries? Well, his first one is on the 24th this month. Um, but beyond that, we don't really know. I've been told that it just depends on his healing time and just how well he's doing okay. afterwards. So hopefully after that surgery, we'll have a clear timeline. Okay. Thank you. Now, do Carter's doctors seem to collaborate together on a team or do they seem to work more independently? I would say that they probably work more independently. Okay. I mean, there's some overlap, but I don't think there's much. Okay. So hopefully after the reconstruction surgery, it'll be more of a team effort. Okay. Now, what would you like to see Carter accomplish in the near future? When I eat, he looks at me like, ooh, mom, can I have some of that? So hopefully soon he'll be eating solid foods with me. Okay. I would really love to see that. Some good homemade vegetables. Yep, I'll make them. <laughs> You're so yummy in your belly. Good job, Carter. <laughs> what are your long-term expectations for Carter? I know Carter can do anything he sets his mind to, and I have high hopes for him, but I can't wait for the day that he's admitted into college. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And he will. He it's will. awesome. He will. That determination, that's awesome. <laughs> Now, what are the most difficult challenges you're facing with Carter? I would say that the most difficult thing right now is just getting him to appointments. There are so, so many appointments, and I'm a single mother, mm -hmm. so managing work and all these appointments and spending time with him and maintaining my home and just everything else, you know, that comes along at me, it it's can taxing. be challenging. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You're very strong. It's amazing. Now, do you have a strong support team behind you? Absolutely, 100%. As soon as I said I was adopting a special needs baby, my family and my friends just showered me with support and well wishes and everything. So they're right there for me. And I have all these people who help me babysit. And everyone is so great. I have a really strong family unit. And even though they're not in, for in Florida, uh, they're always just a phone call away. So. That's awesome. That's great. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy to hear that. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Price, I want to thank you for answering all of my questions today. It really helps me get to know you and Carter a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, and now, is there anything else that I may not have covered that you feel is um, important? Anything we should be aware, aware of regarding Carter? No, I can't think of anything. Okay. Well, thank you. I did learn a lot from you and Carter through this interview today. Mm -hmm. 
I will use this information along with the assessment that we're going to go do um, today to create a well-rounded plan for Carter. Okay. We will determine which speech and language activities will be the best fit for him after his reconstructive surgery, and then we'll begin therapy. Okay. Um, and now we'll move on to the assessment. It should take about 15 minutes to complete. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, if you'll get bring Carter back, we'll get started. Sure.